Very excited for the men's team. Uh, potential is kind of the word of the year on the men's squad. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't mean a whole lot until you step up and get it done. So um, very big class, probably the biggest men's class we've had in a really long time, if not ever. Um, and even the lower end swimmers are really good swimmers in terms of that first year class. So um, I'm trying not to, to look too far ahead or anything like that. We have Brandeis on the 19th, and so we'll see what we have then. Uh, but I really like what I see in practice so far. I really like the team dynamic that's starting to form. Um, practices have been really loud, really intense, really enthusiastic, which I think is going to pay off. So. Different than the women's for sure. Um, guys who do more uh, stroke work than on the women's side. Um, you know, we're going to have events this year where we're going to put four guys up and we're not going to know who's going to win and who's going to take fourth. Um, they're that close and there's going to be a ton of competition in practice. Uh, as long as it stays healthy competition, it's going to be an awesome thing. So um, I'm really excited for the men that the freshmen have kind of come in with a high expectation and they've, they've lived up to it right now. They're, they're pushing and they have a few upperclassmen looking over their shoulders, which I love. Um, and the upperclassmen are taking the challenge. They, you know, it, it's going to be a, a dynamic where uh, getting some fast younger swimmers are only going to make the older swimmers faster, and, and I can guarantee you that none of the upperclassmen are just going to hand over a spot in an A relay. They're going to fight for it, um, and so I'm really excited. We had an awesome new max on the men's side last year. Uh, a bunch of records fell, a couple that we really didn't see coming. Um, guys just stepping up, having a great weekend, um, and we, we just kept the ball rolling all weekend long. And so this year, same thing with the men. We're just looking to take that next step, uh, and we're going to keep looking to do that. Um, Again, I don't want to put expectations on this group just yet where we haven't even had a meet yet. But, um, you know, I, I think if we put it together and the coaches do their job and the swimmers do their job, uh, look out for a pretty uh, historic season on the men's side. So, I mean, one's no good without the other. Um, it's a D3 school. We're a D3 team. I'm a D3 guy at heart. Um, you know, as important as what we're doing on the pool deck is what they're doing in the classroom. Um, certainly that, you know, I, I have a lot less responsibility when it comes to that, but um, they're encouraged just as hard to excel academically as they are athletically, um, and that expectation is never going to change. I think it's tough to get it out of your blood, to be honest. Um, it, it's such a big part of your life, and especially such a big part of your college experience. Um, and, you know, I know for me, when I, when I, after I got out of swimming and then I was out of the sport entirely for a while. It's just, it calls you back. You just want to be a part of that competitiveness, a part of the team again. Uh, and so, yeah, we were lucky last weekend, alumni meet we had. I mean, I haven't added it up, but over 30 alums back on campus going back to the class of 1973 and then a, a ton of recent alums. Um, and they're doing great things. I mean, they're smart kids, they, and that's the one thing swimming does is, if nothing else, you know how to, to work really hard. Uh, and you know how to appreciate hard work and know the connection between um, coming in with a great attitude and whatever you're doing, working really hard, and then seeing results. And, and that's really what they do. Um, great group, really supportive. They're going to be in the stands a whole lot this year. So.